customizing your header slider, in other words, this area above the fold that your visitors will see before they start scrolling, is really easy to do if you know where to go and if you have some good content like images and text already laid out. The place to go is Customize. So we can click Customize in the upper left. And now we can do our editing in the header area. Here you'll see header type, where we've chosen full screen slider, so we get this nice cover slide, and not image and not no header. And then for site header type, that refers to how your individual pages will look. And you can have the full screen slider again, or just an image, which I like. And that image will just look like a large banner above the content. We can see that on, for example, our About page on the site we've already made. So the slider's gone and we get this nice image with the logo above it and the nav menu inside it. You can also set this header image to randomize among a few images you've uploaded. Just go to Header Image, click Add New Image a few times, and then Randomize Suggested Headers. And then you can also set the height. But for now, we want to edit our header slider. In header slider, you can have up to five images, and you can choose the speed they go and the speed the text goes as well. Or you can just choose to stop the text, in which case the whole slider will show the text from your first slide, whatever text you put in right here, in title for first slide and subtitle for first slide. To set up your own images, just click Remove or Change Image on the demo content and then I have a couple nice images that are both larger than the size that Sydney wants us to choose. These nice images are 1920 pixels by 1200 pixels and they are 1920 width, 1200 height. More wide than they are tall. Let's choose an image and watch it come in and then write in some text for our first slide which could be maybe your business philosophy here with some attractive text. And of course you can write whatever you want. The button below the text on your slider actually is meant to take you down to the first section of the site, right below this header slider. It takes visitors to your first piece of homepage content. And if we scroll all the way down on the customizer, we have our call to action button with URL hashtag primary. And we don't want to change that because hashtag primary just means take people down to the first section. Of course, you can change the text in your call to action button. Let's check out the site now and see what we're making. If you're refreshing your site and not seeing the changes, then make sure to turn off WP Super Cache in your plugins. Just deactivate that plugin. And when you click, click to begin, it'll just take us down to the first section. With those other buttons on the site we already made, which we're going to cover in another demo, I'll just tell you that the link looks a little bit different. When you hover, you can look in the bottom left of my screen, down in here, and you'll see that that link, instead of hashtag primary, says hashtag PG and then a number. That number 237 will correspond to the page of the home page. And if you've made a few pages on your site or uploaded content, this number up here in my URL bar might be different for you. But on those buttons lower down on your site, you're going to want to use this number for home page. And then you're going to use another number with those dashes too and the other number references the sections below primary. The site reads primary at the top and then section one, two, three, four, and so on in your page builder. And each row goes down in numbers. One, two, three. So that on the home page, you'll have hashtag primary in the link in that lower left corner. We're examining the link. And then we'll have hashtag PG-237, meaning the homepage, dash one, meaning the first section below the primary. 
which is the main points right here. Down further, there's more buttons like this, and they follow the same structure. Let's go ahead back to the header area and let's add one more image slider. That'll be our second slide. And let's just write in something your fans would love here. Or maybe just what your customers want. And we need a new image, so change image. And we can select that cool image of the concert. Make sure to save and publish. And now let's go back and let's change the text logo and the slogan. And we can change that logo information in the site title tagline logo. You might want to write in a beautiful text logo and your slogan. Or you might just want to upload your own logo that you create or that you have a designer create. Save and publish. Because our navigation menu sits within this header slider, let's create that right now and get rid of the create your menu here link. First refresh. Looking pretty good. And now let's just... And now we can click create your menu here like the theme wants us to. Which will take you to menus. And maybe you have some pages already. Or maybe not. I'm going to delete this menu right here because it was from a previous site. And it looks like we need a few pages now. So we can go to our Pages tab. And I don't want to waste too much time here. I know your time is valuable. But let's go ahead and create little placeholders for the pages that we're going to make in the future. Like about, publish with the default template, and add new, and lastly a sign up page. And now let's go back to our appearance menus and when we did the demo content in the first video titled Customize Sydney WordPress Theme, I hope you watched that one. In that video, we set up the front page and the blog page, and those should be made already for our menu because we made them with the demo content. All right, now for some reason, we get this weird um, menu structure right here, and I don't want that. I just want to create a new menu so we can create a new menu. Let's say main nav or something more simple if you can think of that create menu and then let's just grab our pages except for the sample page and click add to menu alright so if you didn't know how to set up a menu here or rearrange your page tabs then we're covering all that right now a little extra value for everyone and uh, let's get those in the right organization and lastly, let's just change my blog page to just blog because I don't know who would call it my blog page. All right, and then we have to assign primary menu for our theme location and save menu. Make sure to check that box, otherwise the menu won't show up. All right, now let's see what we made. And it looks beautiful. We're well on track to our completed website because our header slider looks perfect. And of course, this could all be any of your content that you create on your own. Alright guys, thanks for watching. In the next videos, we're going to move downwards and create more features on your Sydney-themed WordPress website. Thanks for watching, have a great day or night, and I'll see you next time.